Protective gear for health workers is in short supply right now, prompting a New York couple to start making their own on a 3D printer. As CBS 4's Nancy Chen reports, it's become a massive effort with people from around the world helping out. Volunteers outside Syracuse, New York, are working around the clock. They're producing face shields for healthcare workers using 3D printers and designs from Stephanie Keefe and Isaac Budman, co owners of Budman Industries. So we created these shields that are able to be 3D printed and assembled with just some off the shelf materials available at hardware stores or craft stores. The couple typically makes furniture and sculptures from 3D printers, but switched to face shields to wear over masks when they saw the shortage of protective gear. We made about six different prototypes to make sure that it fit well, that it fit all head shapes, and that it was comfortable. Their first 350 shields went to their local county's testing site. We have all of our uh, emergency management personnel using these masks there. Uh, and that has been critical because this has really helped us get ahead of the curve on testing. Word quickly got out about the couple's efforts. Healthcare workers and others started writing in wanting face shields from around the country, including here in New York City. But they also got emails from around the world of people wanting to print their own and help others. So the couple offered their designs on their website for anyone with a 3D printer to use. It's incredibly inspiring to see all these people step up and it's incredibly moving. And at the same time, when you talk to some of these healthcare workers, it's, it's very difficult because you can hear the panic in their voice and you can hear how desperate they are. It's, it's been sort of a, a, a roller coaster. Yeah. You know. A roller coaster they plan to stay on as long as the urgent need remains. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York. And Budman and Kiefer have donated their first 50 shields. After that, they say they started charging just enough to cover the cost of materials, but they say they're not making a profit.